Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Jake DeReese here with your weather headlines. Main impact today is going to be gusty winds as a secondary cold front advances through our neighborhoods in the early afternoon hours. We have a small chance for a shower, but again, main impact today is going to be those winds as we are tracking our temperatures to get back to normal, starting with the overnight hours tonight. But first, let's talk our rain reports. This is just for Sunday morning, not including the round of showers and storms that moved through Eaton and Ingham counties last night. So this is again Sunday morning and a lot of us across all of our neighborhoods saw over half an inch of rainfall. That includes Jackson, Okemos, Moscow and Hillsdale, Bellevue, Eaton Rapids and Lansing, which is great. Going to help with those areas that are still in a state of drought. Now looking at wind gusts, our main impact for the day today. We're starting this morning at 6 a.m. Right now, still winds from the west in the mid to upper teens. It's going to be the latter portion of the morning hours, but we'll start to see the winds pick up. Right now, we're looking at 11 a.m. Still from the west, mid 20s and the more north you go, a bit breezy. Year. It's going to be Lansing 28 miles per hour, St. John's 29 miles per hour, Ionia 31 miles per hour, and then heading into the early afternoon. This is when that cold front is expected to advance through. Look at this areas in red well into the 30 mile per hour range for us could possibly meet 40 miles per hour. And again, the breezier it's going to be is going to be in our northern neighborhoods, but we're still going to be breezy just across the board. Now we will be calming as that cold front does advance through our wind gusts will be calming as we head into the overnight hours as our winds now shift from the north allowing for cold air advection, which is going to be bringing us back to normal for overnight lows. We'll get to that in a second, but first our satellite and radar. We're starting the morning at 6 a.m. Mostly cloudy skies awaiting the breezy conditions early this afternoon. Another cold front advances its way through. Here's some of those showers popping up at around 1030 a.m. But if we do see any showers today where it's going to produce trace amounts, definitely not comparable to what we saw yesterday to end our weekend. Once that cold front moves through, we should be drying up again, shifting our winds now from the north again temperatures should be getting back to normal but we've been talking about it for a while let's talk about it right now tonight clearing skies allowing for again our temperatures to get back right where they should be mid to lower 30s for this time of year 33 degrees still some strong winds from the north of allowing us to see these temperatures back to normal but a look at another satellite and radar shows we are tracking another chance for rain overnight Wednesday into Thursday we're looking at midnight here on Thursday more uniform areas moving in at around 3 a.m. we're still watching Watching the system closely to iron out how much rain we're going to be seeing with it, but that's our next best chance for uniform precipitation in our neighborhoods. Here's a look at our super seven day forecast. We're going to watch the wind today. 53 degrees as a high overnight lows. Like I said, for the next two days, mid to lower 30s, right where they should be. And look at this highs on Tuesday and Wednesday in the upper 40s, right where they should be with a lot of sunshine on Tuesday. Cloudy skies returning on Wednesday as we look forward to more showers on Thursday, warming back into the 50s, 53 degrees overnight lows back above average in the mid 40s. We'll be ending the week on Friday dry, partly cloudy skies, 52 degrees and into this weekend. We're still tracking dry conditions.